For today's Robot Wars Reborn episode, your task as the viewer is to count how many times this picture of coleslaw appears in this episode. Make sure to keep your eyes peeled. Now it may have been because he was an easy bot to build or because he's the 100th flipper in this series, but Gravity was an easy bot to design and build. He needs a 40k ballast in the front because otherwise he would probably flip himself instead of the opponent. Although he's a very light heavyweight, barely making 400 pounds, this was necessary to keep. Unfortunately, he can't be a middleweight, but maybe he'll get the job done with the two flippers as a heavyweight. Hmm, maybe we should have made him a middleweight. That's okay, I'll win the cheap way. You're one big floppy cock! Look at you! You are so dumb! You are really dumb! For real! Uh-oh, retard alert! No, 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 wait, 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 please, please, please! It's a load of bullshit! You could say it's a wide load of bullshit. Gotcha, bitch! You two suck. That's just mean. Let's face it, there's no way I'm gonna win this, I'm quitting. Well, you know what you are? You're a little bitch. That's right, you're a bitch, what and I bet you'd like to suck to it, wouldn't you? <laughs> That's easier than breathe. <laughs> Alright, there's a nice easy win. I can't just let him sit here though, I want to take some parts off. Cause I'm a piece of shit, it ain't hard to fucking tell. I just- oh. Stewie. Oh. Look. Oh. Come on. Oh. I- oh. Huh. If I didn't know any better, I'd think this was Hexadecimator. So what grade did the Gravity Recreation earn? Well, by looking at the stats, you'll find out quickly that it was a good one. I thought the appearance was pretty decent for Stock Robot Arena 2, and the flipper did fairly well overall, getting a lot of very good flips, although at times it did struggle with heavier bots. It won way too many fights in recording, it was near 20 with only 3 defeats. Fought well, it was aggressive, and it did a lot of flipping. And as for a bot designed for Robot Arena 2, I thought it worked out well. Maybe it would have been better as a middleweight, but it still did well as a heavyweight. So its final grade, a B. <laughs> Razor was never going to be an easy bot to design, and it shows in his final product. The body is all over the place, and it was obvious we weren't going to get all of his contours correct. The front wheels are not as far forward as they need to be, but they're as far forward as I could have got them. And we couldn't have the self-writing wings on Razor, so all he's got is the beak. And that's not even that good, it doesn't really look realistic, and as you'll see in the fights, it barely has any distance between its starting point and the bot once he's got him on the wedge, and it just doesn't work out very well. Go! No. I'm getting real tired of this shit. Razor bumps and bashes. Excuse me, I'm doing the commentary here. Who do you think you are? I came in like a wrecking ball. Oh shit! The razor has them now, firmly in its jaw. The fuck, man! Stop taking my job. Well, we knew that was gonna happen. Oh yeah, here we go. Here. Oh my God! Would you fuck off! This is my series, you jackass. I don't know if I can get lug nut here, can he? Oh. Seriously, you are a fucking ugly little cunt, mate. And if I ever see you, I'm gonna fucking slit your fucking face wide open, yeah? No way! Please, I don't want to die. This just seems a little gay. Gay? Gay? It's 
overturned! And Razor's feel has the touch of cold steel, ponderously awaiting its moment to come in with a crumpling effect. Three tons of crushback, crushability factor on Robot Wars. All right, so how accurate was the Razor recreation? <laughs> Try and call it accurate. No, it was not even close. The appearance was pretty shit, even though it was stock Robot Arena 2. There just wasn't much we could do with this complicated design. The weapon took off a wheel or two against Dementia towards the end of his segment, which was just enough to give the weapon damage accuracy only a D. He was 10 and 6 in recording, in real life, 41 and 6. He just didn't really do well at, at all. He earned enough points to get away with a C grade, but I feel like it's a bit generous. Do you have a favorite Robot Wars robot that you want to be part of this series? Leave a comment of the robot's name below. Damn it. Big Dog, just fuck off! You're just- you're a nuisance! You're just an annoying little pest that won't fucking go away! Just- Off. Okay, you- fuck- Raptor, fuck off! You realize iPoker is hitting you in the back, do you just not give a shit? What the fuck is your problem?